reach across the aisle or touch our neighbor and, and pause for a moment of prayer, it seems to calm things down and help us think more clearly. Prayer. I remember uh, when Newtown happened. Do you remember that? And all of us, it doesn't matter who we, we are, where we've come from, all of us pause for a moment of silent meditation and prayer. We had to get our thoughts together. It took place in Columbine. I remember in 9-11, I was standing next to an atheist, and he had to bow his head in prayer. And so I want all of you to know tonight that nothing unites us like the power of prayer. And if there's anyone in here tonight who's having any challenge, any difficulty, the hills are hard to climb, the road is rough, huh? If you're going through any pain, if you're wrestling with anything tonight, you ought to pause for a minute and, and quiet yourself and find your strength and your power in prayer. Happy City in 200, we had to celebrate our bicentennial. There are not many African-American churches uh, in this nation that are 200 years old, and certainly not many that are 200 years old that has the prominence of Abyssinian. So in thinking about how to celebrate 200 years, what would have been better than to ask a genius, a musical genius, to compose a piece of work for us? Well, the musical genius that I know the best is Wynton Marcellus. And uh, he composed this piece, man, but it's, it's more than just Abyssinian. It's a gospel celebration, good news. I'm, I'm talking about, you know, God's house, how it's a house of prayer, and how prayer unites, uh, how everybody has a place, whether you're black or white, whether you're Muslim or Christian or Jewish. Um, it's, it's a cosmopolitan approach to, to faith. And it, it, it seeks, as the music does, jazz is a universal ambassador, man, you know, seeks as the music does to draw us all together. Well, our, our main sponsor, David Stewart, and the, the Stewart Family Foundation, he's a man of faith. And um, I, I went to meet him and approached him about, about us putting this tour on and would he sponsor it. And he considered it and he said, yeah, he would do it. And you know, we discussed what, what, what the tour would entail and all the different parts. And I think it was something he believed in and he got behind it. So uh, I think it was a historic thing. And then his participation and his belief in it made it more. <laughs> 